Alright guys, it's your boy DeAnthony from Break Room Blitz. So, I just want to give a, a shout out to Alexandria Steele. She's the only person that actually commented on our Rogue One giveaway video. So, she gets the grand prize of Jen Erso Funko Pop. Just want to give a shout out to her. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Appreciate it. Okay, so, now, I just got through watching... Netflix original Barry. So Barry, if you haven't seen it, pop up on your screen. It probably will soon. Or, um, but I just want to let you know that this is about Barack Obama. Now the issue that I just want to get out of, off my chest real quick is that the movie is called Barry. First of all, his name on birth certificate is Barack Obama. Then they say he changed it when his mama got married to the Indonesian guy to Barry Sawatoro. But then they're like, oh, well, we never saw how he changed his name back to Barack Obama. Whatever the case, this man's name is Barack Obama, period. You know, I don't care if it, it sounds bad to you. It doesn't just ring. It's not a good ring in your ear. His name is Barack Obama. So for Netflix to come out with a movie called Barry, to me, is irresponsible and disrespectful. So, I, that's my issue with it off the bat. I'm, I'm going to start with that. It's an African name, Barack Hussein Obama. Okay? Now, I'm not saying his real name isn't Barry. It could be. That theory could be true. But right now, this man is telling you, call me Barack Obama. Now, let's get into the actual movie. So it's directed by a guy named Vikram Gandhi, which is the issue right there. When you don't have your own people telling your story, you get shit like Barry and not Barack. Okay? So it's a little sly. It's a little disrespectful towards Barack. Um, I'm not saying I'm a Barack Obama fan, but I know disrespect when I see disrespect. So I can at least say the man name. Damn. Anyway, other than that, I thought it was a good movie because if you ignore the whole Barry, they say Barry to the whole thing. They never say why they're saying Barry. It's just Barry. So honestly, if you didn't know that this movie was about Barack Obama, if this movie happened happened to be shown 50 years from now about some great man, you wouldn't know who it was. You would know who that. You would not know this is about Barack Obama, except for in the explanation. When they tell you when they write the description, if they didn't want to use Barack Obama, you would know who this was. But since I do know who it is, I liked it. It was a good movie. It was very authentic. Um, it, it takes place in New York. Um, they have a lot of like authentic things, like they had you know some hip hop. Uh, it takes place in like the '80s. So you get the you know the hip hop the 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 authentic hip hop and then rapping and battling in, in the actual uh, parks you get um, they even had like the Hebrew Israelites in there so if you don't know who they are they're a pretty big group that you know are pro black and you know they're in there so I did appreciate that they brought up Lucille's. You know, Lucille's is a, is a historical restaurant in New York, so I thought that was great. Overall, I thought it was pretty good. You know, I liked the acting. The guy that was playing Barack, he has his accent or his voice down pat. You know, it was it was a really good uh, portrayal of that. Um, I liked the female actors. I liked the supporting. I liked his friends. Um, I thought it was a pretty decent movie for what you got, minus the whole Barry thing. Um, because, you know, they just kind of, it seemed like they really wanted to portray these characters correctly. I've never seen anybody that was in here except for there is a guy from Straight Outta Compton, play AZ. He's in this, so that's kind of cool. But it was pretty much just his story about how he went through college and he's like kind of fighting with his actual... Um, identity, you know, he's fighting with, do I, you know, side with the white folks, do I side with the black folks, damn, I don't fit nowhere, and that's a lot of mixed children's story, they had those stories where I didn't feel like I felt I fit anywhere, when I mixed with white and black, but the white kids know I'm black, 
But the black kids think I'm white or too white or not black enough. You know, and he dealt with that his whole life. And he's talking about those things and how he interacts with people and how he notices how they interact with him. And how he tries to go, you know, hang out with the black people, but they a little too violent. And he tries to hang out with the, the white folks, but they don't really see him as their own. So it's like, golly. And honestly, I feel the same way sometimes, you know, because I'm not a violent guy. I'm a nerd. You can check out this stuff here. You can check out all the videos that I do. You know, I'm not... You know, trying to be hood. I'm not trying to be gangster. I'm not trying to be thuggish. You know, uh, I just want to be positive. I want to be happy. And, you know, I want to just thrive. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just live in this box that they tell me I have to live in because I'm black. So I did relate to that. You know, because and I work in the corporate world. You know, so I work with white folks. And, you know, I also see I don't fit there either. You know, but, you know, I have to try to balance and juggle this thing because you know because I still have family that's black and I have friends that are black you know I have friends that are white you know and I have to try to juggle this you know and sometimes you know neither side understands neither side gets it neither side understands why I want to do why I'm into things like Star Wars why I'm into things like anime you know or why I'm into you know pro-black and why my blackness means a lot to me you know and they, they just don't seem to get it so I'm always stuck in between a rock and a hard place so I understand how he felt his whole life, even though I'm not mixed, but I can see how it would be even worse for him. So that's my review, non-spoiler review of Barry. I don't appreciate his name is that the movie's called Barry, and he never calls his name uh, as it should be as Barack Obama. And but it was still a good movie as far as what you got out of it. You know, learning about this man's life and seeing his struggle. You know, it's, yeah, it's first world struggles, but it's still a struggle, you know? Trying to identify with someone is a, uh, a natural human thing, you know? You want to gravitate and you want to actually, you know, identify with someone. You, know, you, don't, want, you don't want to be singled out. That's it's just human nature. So I get it. Um, but it was great acting. It was a great story. I love the, the music. I love the cinematography. I loved everything about it except for that name, Barry. And... I just wanted to put that out there that I see, I see you. You're being disrespectful right now, and you're trying to slide that in, slide that in cool. But I, I catch all things. I do a lot of research, so I know all the theories. I know all the conspiracies. I know you know the things they try to say about black folks and how they try to you know comment us or compliment us and uh, disrespect or insult us. You know so. Um, that's the best thing. You got to keep up with what they, what the tactics are. You know, I don't know what this, what the director had in mind, but to me, when you, when you name a, a movie called Barry about Barack Obama, it's as if you disrespected his name and his legacy. So, um, if I had to rate it, I'd probably give it about, if, if his name was, if it was called Barack, I would give it an eight. But since it's called Barry, I'm going to give it a seven. Um, because it just kind of takes away from what I, what I got, you know, and I never explained why they call him Barry. So to me, it's just one of those subliminal, uh, messages, you know, it's one of those, you know, uh, inside jokes, you know, I don't like inside jokes about me and my people. So you get a seven. Sorry guys, that's my review on it. Um, I'm going to do a full extensive review, so check that out in a minute. Alright guys, I'm your boy DeAnthony. Like, subscribe, comment, uh, share. Uh, let me know. Do you guys think that I'm tripping? Do you think that them calling his name Barry the whole movie is a disrespectful uh, tactic? Or is it just paying homage to his early roots? I don't think so, but you guys let me know. Alright guys, I'm your boy DeAnthony. Break Room Blitz, baby. I'm out. Peace.